Oh, look at that Pikachu. That's so cute. Jinx. Oh, <laughs> reverse this scan. What do you know? <gasps> hey guys, Mystic Gengar here. So some of you may remember from the first Splatoon 3 stream that I said I had a Lost Origins pre-release to go to. Well, wouldn't you know it, I had a Lost Origins pre-release to go to. Ain't that crazy? So, here's the thing. Obviously, I got a lot of junk cards. Okay, these don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. However, inside the build and battle box is three packs I'm going to open. Make sure to stick around a little while longer to get to that. And also, the deck I used. So I played three games at the tournament like everybody else, and I won two of them. And I gotta say, Gligar and Gliscor were the kings of this tournament. I have people saying that they just scoop the second somebody drops a Gligar on turn one with an energy. It was already done. It is more damage at a faster rate than almost everything else here. Speaking of everything else, my champ. When my first game, a choke was prized, and I probably would have won it if it wasn't. Aside from that, uh, um, I did get the Macho Machamp pre-release. Bleh, excuse me. But they only give you a 1-1 one, one line in the pre-build deck. That's kind of messed up. So after that, we had Lickitung and Licky Licky, which were, well, they were just filler. Metachamp served as a nice engine in the first game. Would have actually done something if Machoke wasn't prized. Ahem, anyway. Good old Gastrodon over here actually would have done really great in that first game as well. But I kind of got to a situation where the opponent only had one prize, even though I had this guy out. And due to the 20 damage to each of your bench Pokemon, yeah, I would have just killed the Gligar on my bench and took their last prize. So it really wouldn't have worked. But the game did actually go to time, surprisingly. And just to go over the trainers, I'm going to be real with you guys. Most of them are pretty much just, oh, I had a thing. I'm going to put it in the deck. But Arezu and Gloria specifically, and also Cynthia, these were the three main cards I ended up using the most. These actually had the most that they actually did. Considering how many weird one-of evolution lines I had to put in this deck, because I really did not want to run, want to run the Wurmples that they put in here. Yeah, let's just say Arezu really came in handy. Overall, I think I did pretty good for this deck. I, th I, I, just, I, I, th I think it's all right. Oh, and in case you're curious, the rest was just fighting energy. But if you want to experiment with this, yeah, you don't have to. Machamp is good and Gligar and Gliscor are neat. But, like, the rest of the Pokemon, they're just okay. At least the trainer selection was varied enough for just a 40-card deck. Overall, not bad. Could have been better. Oh, and uh, I also use the Pokemon Center Muse sleeves. I think they're pretty neat. The best part about all this, however is that I actually managed to break the ETB, well, not the ETB, the B&B &B curse. I got an ultra rare Pokemon in one of them, in the in the Lost Origin box. I got Kyurem V Max, and the guy directly across me somehow managed to get Kyurem V. The problem, I didn't get Kyurem V, so he just kind of was stuck in here. I also got the Shadow of the uh, Chandelure Hollow, but, uh... Yeah, Kiro's just kind of stuck here. I couldn't even use him. Poor guy. I also got a free magnet and pencil. Well, I kept you all waiting too long. It's time for the moment of truth. Were the prize packs good? If you don't remember from last time, well, needless to say, we got hit in every single pack. If you haven't seen that video, go back and find it. Shouldn't be too far back in the playlist, I don't think. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. We're starting strong. Black code card. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. All right, here we go. Water energy. Cascoon. Wait, no, that's Silcoon. <laughs> we got a Mean Show. This can. Isui and Zorwa, look at that little guy. You got a Snover. Is that a Machop? 
Oh, look at that Pikachu. That's so cute. Jinx. Oh, <laughs> reverse this scan. What do you know? Oh, no. No, you shut up. Golden V Star Giratina? No way! No way! Nah, I'm just leaving this right now. I'm just leaving this right now. Some little kid there got a Giratina V Star. I thought that would have been the only one that they were handing out. Never mind! We got the gold! We got the gold! I'm just. I'm stunned. Nah, we're done. We're done. We're keeping the other two packs sealed. I'm out. I'm, I'm done. Okay, but if the first pack is that good, we gotta see what the rest is. We have to see what the rest is. What do we got in the second pack? Oh, no, the back didn't tear proper. Oh, that that's not good. Okay, yep. All right, all right. White code. I don't I think that means we don't get anything, but also... Dude, we just got a gold Giratina! That's not, that's not a normal thing. Anyway, we got water energy. We got a Mirage Gate. That, that is a Cascoon. Oh, yo, Amipom. I didn't know they had more than one this block. I love the one in Pokemon Go. Rockruff. Seal. That is a, oh, that's a Shuppet. Machop again. Wish I pulled more of you during the pre-release event. Pikachu. Oh, that's a reverse Hisui and Gudra. Oh, and a Bouffalant, the Lost Zone one. Very cool. All right, last pack. Here goes nothing. Black Code, Black Code. That is, in fact, a Black Code card. Ladies and gents, we get a Black Code card alert. Here we go. Last pack of the day. A water energy again? Oh, the lost vacuum. Cascoon. Ambipom. Slugma. Clefairy. <laughs> Roselia. Porygon. Inkay. Yo! Radiant Steelix, that's so cool. And a, oh, no way. Giratina V, dude, dude, no way. No freaking way. Gotta sleeve these bad boys real quick. That's insane, bro. We got the normal V and the golden V star. Just slide in there thank you dude why are the pre-release prize packs so good for me this is insane that's it that's it. i beaked it's technically not even as good as the last one because one of the packs didn't even have a hit but the thing is that's a hit more valuable than everything from last time that I'm going to keep going to these pre-releases because my local game store never lets down. Building boxes, usually not that great. Pulled through today. Bonus packs, usually great. Extra pulled through today. That's it. That's, <laughs> I don't have anything else to add. Overall, by the way, if you're always hesitant about playing the Pokemon trading card game, go to your local game store and do one of their pre-release events. They're always fun. They're always fun. And if you need help with that, there's a Play Pokemon game tracker on the website. You can go there and you can go see, you know, what local events are being held. I don't know if they've updated it for post-COVID, but they should have by now. But anyway, that's going to be it. Oh, wait, I forgot to do so. We technically forgot to recount everything, but we kind of just went through them, didn't we? Giratina V and Golden Giratina V-Star. Radiant Steelix. And also, even though they... They technically weren't opened on this part of the camera and all that. They were technically opened off camera, but it's a product I discussed in here. So, hey, technically, here in VMAX and the Hollow Chandelure both count for this, not the McDonald's cards. Go watch that short, by the way. But yeah, 
That'll be it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I got a golden Pokemon. Oh, that's a first. Well, technically not a first, but it's my first golden V-Star. I did get a turn just before that. And also, I'd like to mention, this is my first V-Star in English. This is my first V-Star in English, and it's the golden chase card from the set. It's not top of the alt art, but it's really darn good. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join the Discord server for more good stuff like this. Follow me at Mr. Gangar on Twitter, because this video does well, or if it's, I'll do another one like this. If it doesn't do well, I don't know, I'll just post on Twitter. But that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye!